Well, if anybody was sticking around watching day nine, <clears throat> I was hosting him while I was uh, away from a uh, break. Day nine is my game of the year. Yeah, maybe more. I can't think of it. Man, within starting the the Revenge of the Hordes uh, uh, patch of uh, Heaven's Word. Basically, we were told go inside. <laughs> Miss Tataru with their hands folded. Ah, uh, Eskos, there you are. Have you a moment? There is something I would fain discuss. I must ask that you recall the events which unfolded at the peace conference, though I dare say you would sooner forget them. My mind returns again and again to the moment when Nidhogg appeared before, <clears throat> before the crowd in the guise of Astinian. It was a sight to chill the soul, but one that would give me reason to hope that a friend might not be beyond salvation. When you described his faithful transformation at Azizla, I feared him lost forever. But the mere fact that some semblance of his former self endures must surely count for something. Alas, I have no evidence to support this impression. Thus did I turn to Yustola and Kral for some empirical appraisal, and full glad that I am that it did, as it would seem they have some observations of their own to share. The ladies have saved a table to the Forgotten Knight. Shall we go? Excellent. Let us not keep our honored colleagues waiting. By the way, <clears throat> the emotes I got. Make sure we get that look like. So we got battle stance. And then we got victory stance. And and each job has their own different version of that. We have kept you waiting over long, I fear. Not to worry, Alphano. We had some rather fine mulled wine to keep us company. Truth be told, you could have delayed your arrival a few moments more. Gibrion got the spicing just right this time. His latest batch is not only delicious and warming, but soothing to the humors. Indeed. But was not to soothe our humors that we gathered here. Ah, oh, no, quite right. The matter of that poor dragoon. You have discovered something. A means to save him? Let us not jump to conclusions, shall we? Assess the facts presented, then make an educated analysis, as you were taught. Pray, cast your mind back to the moment of Astinian's transformation. Do you recall how you described it to us? You spoke of the sudden pangs which racked his body when you took up both of Nidhogg's eyes and of how his form was twisted thereafter into a shadowy semblance of the Great Worm. When he appeared at Falcon's Nest, the worm's eyes were fused to his mail. 
with that only his armor had been corrupted. Snaking forth from the eyes, I descried dark tendrils which entangled his very being. His ether has been all but smothered. Then he is lost to us forever? What did I just say about jumping to conclusions? Ishtola clearly stated all but smothered. As I later discovered, her impression matched my own. Though Nidhogg's presence filled my mind's eye, beneath his seething aura, I sensed the merest hint of something else. And after listening to Yishtola's observations, I became more certain of my suspicion that the something else I had sensed was, in fact, the trace of a different will, submerged in the sea of Nidhogg's rage. You mean... Yes, tis like that Estinian spirit yet lingers. Can we not wrest him from Nidhogg's grasp, then? Tear the eyes from the armor? We know not if that would serve to separate Worm's soul from man's. None have ever attempted such a feat. Should it offer even the faintest hope of success, then by the gods, I shall be the first to try. Alphino. By all means, hold fast to your hope, but be mindful of the dangers. Even should you succeed in excising the eyes from the Dragoon's mail, we have no way of knowing if your friend's soul would survive so violent a separation. And that is to say nothing of the possibility that his would-be saviour might become Nidhogg's next host. But what other choice remains to us? Should the opportunity present itself, I will tear those foul orbs from Estinian's armor and trust in the resilience of his soul, even at the risk of mine own. Ah, I found you at last. A messenger of the Temple Knights came to the manor some few hours past. The Lord Commander humbly requests the company of the Warrior of Light and Master Alphano. Sir Emmerich would speak with us. Very well, thank you, Anawa. Twould seem duty calls. Pray see to yours, and we shall return to ours. Thank you, Yishtola. Kryl, your words have given me hope where there was none. Come then, Sir Emmerich awaits. Alphano is allowing his feelings for this dragoon to cloud his thoughts. I worry he may do something rash. Keep an eye on him, would you? The conference held at Falcon's Nest was to be a celebration of the reconciliation twixt man and dragon. But the lingering shade of Nidhogg, clad in the flesh of the Azure Dragoon, did mark the occasion by spilling the blood of his own kind. A timely atrocity to remind the children of Ishgard that the Dragonsong War was far from over. And when fear gave way to fury, the call to arms rang out anew. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg.
what news has Sir Emmerich to share with us? Sir Emmerich, perchance, have received word from a Giovanni Advantage. Or perhaps if the kid is, as you say, may have needed all to be found. Come, I hear that the Lord Mendra has to say. My friends. I thank you for coming. You have had news of Nidhogg? Alas, not. Our scouts range far and wide, but they have as yet found no trace of the Great Worm. We dispatched an elite unit of dragoons to reconnoiter the churning mists, but even they returned empty-handed. A pity. Fear not, Alphano. We shall see the worm again soon enough. His words at Falcon's Nest attest to that. Indeed, he is like to come sooner than we would wish. I assume Ishgard's defenses are being bolstered as we speak? With all haste. I mean to call upon every able-bodied warrior at our disposal, from the Knights of the Four Houses to the men and women of the Watch. But I did not summon you to discuss strategy. What then would you have of us, my lord? I will speak plain. Now that Nidhogg is possessed of both of his eyes, no mortal force we can muster will repel him. That being the case, we must needs recruit an ally of equal strength. You speak of grace, Velga. I do. To whom else could we turn? That he is Nidhogg's equal I do not deny, nor can I name another. But convincing the reclusive creature to do battle with his own brood brother will be... How shall I put this? It will be no small undertaking, yes. Estinian's report was most particular about Hresvelga's unwillingness to involve himself in the affairs of men. But much has changed since your visit to Somal. And if there is even a chance that the dragon may be swayed, I must plead our case. Whatever price the dragon asks of me, I shall pay it. Such was my oath, to defend the people of Ishgard. Come what may, my friends, the battle with Nidhogg will mark the end of my tenure as the acting head of church and state. Will you help me discharge this final duty? We will, my lord. Though I fear our involvement offers no guarantee of success. Come then, we will depart at your leisure. Thank you, both of you. The city is yours, First Commander. My lord, we shall pray for your swift return.
grieves me to oppose upon you in this matter, but you of all people understand the threat we now face. <clears throat> it is no imposition, Sir Eric. To Esagos and I, Ishgard is the second home. After the many battles we have fought and the bonds we have forged, the plight of your nation has become our own. If there is aught that we can do to aid in its salvation, then pray and pose all you must. You are true friends. Shall we be about our task then? We have no way of knowing when Nidhogg's shade will strike, and we must assume that that time is not our ally. Indeed. With that in mind, we have the liberty of dispatching a messenger to inform Mistress Taru that you'll be escorting me to some hall. I confess, I do not did not provide the exact details of our destination, as they are yet unknown to me. We will summon Hraesvalgur at Zenith in the Trimming Mist. Ere we begin our ascent, however, I think it best we pay a visit to Annex Prime. You seek an advantage in our coming negotiations. I do. I will consult with Vidolfnir. I propose this is part out of concern of her condition. This is part of her concern for her condition. Were she to succumb to her wounds, I could have grave consequences for our alliance. That apart, she may be able to provide insight into her sire's current state of mind. Well reasoned to the Jorvanian Forlanza. One of those I thought I might have accidentally. Is the warrior of Oyos and his companions. What bringeth you to mine abode? Pray forgive us for disturbing your recuperation, Vidolfne. I hope your wound does not pain you over much. Didst thou imagine me close to death? The thrust was deep, but not mortal. I will heal in time. Full glad am I, am I to hear it. You were the guest of honor to our conference, and we failed in our duty of protection. On behalf of Ishgard, I apologize unreservedly. I am a dragon full grown, and thou thought to protect me, mortal? I was tempered by the fires of battle ere they, thy great grandsire learned to crawl. Thy words do remind me of a knight of whom I called friend some thousand years past. He swore to defend me from harm and hardship. Would that we could return to that era of peace, but man and dragon lose such comradeship. Would that our every effort to, to do so were not outdone by ancient rancor. For truth, for truth, there can be no peace while Nidhogg's shade yet lingereth. That much is plain, yet we lack the strength to banish him. Thus do we make for Samal to beseech the aid of your sire once more. Folly, though knowest as well as I, how said. Grace Falgo's heart remains unchanged, then. A pity. But if it is folly to hope, I am consent to die a fool. As hath ever been the way of thy kind. Go then, but be warned. The Shade's presence hath its minions to frenzy. Thank you, Vidolfnir. We will disturb your rest no longer.
Though I, though I expected no better answer from Rodolphine, I take little pleasure from having been proven right. It would seem our presence at Zenith will be ever, every bit as unwelcome as I anticipated. But there is the eye. And what is the eye of one great worm to a trio of self-confessed fools such as ourselves? Let us begin our ascent. After you, Master Alphano. Scout ahead if you wish, wish as it goes. We shall join you outside Markholm. I've heard tales of the world above the clouds, but never did I dream. One's mind paints a pale picture to its measures. If you live to see such wonders, remember to let us hide. Kupopo, is that Essigos? Huh. If it isn't more... Maga. Don't tell me you've forgotten my name, Kupo. After all we've been through together. At least you remember your name. <laughs> you do remember me, don't you, Essigos? Um. Moglin? How could you mistake me for that overslept throne warmer? Moghan, the courageous Moogle who guided you to Zenith, Kupo. I'm putting her shared history to one side, which brings me friends to Moghan, Kupo. For another audience with the old Harisvalgar? Well, I hope you brought the horn, Kupo. With the winds as gentle as they are, a good loud doot should reach the great worm's ears easily enough. That is good to hear, Magong. Thank you. We are best pre we are best press on onto Zenith while the winds are in our favor. Now that's an une that was unexpected, Kupo. Chieftain Moglin will want to hear about this. Yeah, summon me again, mortals. Great race, Velga. Tis not lightly that we beg this audience. Pray hearken to our words, 
for they concern the future of man and dragon both. Greetings, Bresvelga. I am Emmerich de Burel, acting ruler of the nation of Ishgard. I am come before you to parley on behalf of my people. Parley, thinkest thou thy purpose unclear? Thou art to come to beg mine aid in the battle against the shade of my brood bird. You foresaw mine intent. I but read what was writ plain in thy eyes. Would that thou had wit enough to scry the answer in mine. in esk dish I am Udran Fakin and she. My beloved Shiva did once build a bridge twixt men and dragon, a bridge that thy treacherous forefathers saw fit to tear down, as thou well notes. Thinkest thou Nidhogg was alone in this despairing in the murder of our brood sister? Thinkest thou mine own soul did not cry out for vengeance? Know then that upon that accursed day my heart did wither in my breast, and thy kind became unto me the harbingers of despair. It is only Shiva's gentle dream that prevented me from flying at Nidhogg's shoulder. Be grateful that I swore to abjure aggression ere I conceived her. I permit my children to offer or deny the aid as they see fit, to warn thy people of my brood brother's coming, that thou wouldst dare ask more of me, but affirm of thine incurable arrogance. We understand that in your despair at man's betrayal, you seek only the refuge of solitude. But despite your protestations of spent faith, do you not still nurture the smallest flame of hope? Perceiveth thou such light in the dusk of mine existence? I do. If you claim I see falsely, then tell me. Why did you consent to bear Rizel upon your back? Rizel, piteous, deluded Rizel. The child did lament her past sins and thought to balance the scales of her remaining days. It was her unquenchable passion, so, so unlike to that of my beloved, which did spur me on to flight. And for my, for mine own part, I would encounter in no longer the hands of hands of evil men to use my brood brother's eye for ill. So you do distinguish between those who acknowledge and repent their sins and those who perpetuate them. Interesting. It seems to me that you have not, in fact, lost faith in mankind as a whole. Rather, you weigh our respective merits by how we allow the past to influence our future. Spare me thine idol, sophistry. Even were there a moat of truth in thy reasoning, what of it? Wouldst thou have me slay mine own sibling to save recipient mortals?
Should we suffer ties of blood to bind our hands, then? Nay, if the crime is one of unconscionable evil, we must needs condemn it, even should the transgressor be our closest kin. When my father corrupted himself and his followers with the power of a primal, I beseeched the warrior of light to slay him, an act alike to patricide. That he did not die by my hand matters little. If anything, it heaps greater disgrace upon my name. But had my father not fallen, he would have drawn countless thousands into a holy war of hellish proportions, which I hold the greater crime. Thus did I order his execution, sparing the lives of my people and yours. Alas, your brother Worm now prepares to murder those whom I sought to spare. What is more, he has taken my comrade's body for his own. But if I must slay my dearest friend to defeat my direst foe, I will not flinch from my duty. I would strike down thy friend, and by example of thy example of thy righteousness, persuade me to break mine oath and kill my kindred? servants of Hydaelyn envision a different outcome. They intend salvation not only for Inishgard, but for the Doom Dragon Slayer as well. Believest thou the shade of Nidhogg return? Is it not merely a manifestation of his vengeance, the shadow cast by thy brood brother's rage? I would not command thee, but ponder well thy course, lest, the, lest it lead thee into greater remorse. While the shade of vengeance remains, the future will ever be uncertain. Eskinite, Eskidia, Ulgar, El in An, Hesneshka, Eskjas, Ong, Unam, Ong, Inga. Nidhogg's transformation to rage incarnate is in part of my own doom. I rendered unto him my own, my eye and empowered his revenge thereby. But tis the purity of my brood brother's wrath that lend, lendeth, lendeth him his unsurpassing might. I Hast thou the strength of will to stand against a, so terrible a shadow, I wonder? To it seem I must put thee and thy companions to sleep. I shall await thee in the ruins where, wherein Ratatoska once dwelled. Heed well the words of my children, and hasten thee to the place of thy trial. There's a Mughal spy.
Not that it's a bad thing or anything, it's just kind of like, oh, what are they doing? I believe I spied a wyvern landing just outside the palace. It is doubtless one of the children of whom Grace Valgar spoke. Come, my friends, let us uh, not keep our escort waiting. My Bruno and I will bear you to the place of your trial. Make your preparations. Sor Kai. for that we can uh, take a look at his something check him a squadron Oh, there is something I need to do for the next part. Oh, wait a minute. The uh, there's a website called uh, fxxiv uh, squadron.com which allows me to do some calculations with the new set. So.
If I remember this one, this is actually a uh, relatively fun one. Glenn, what are you doing here? need her a little marauder to
I like to think that these, uh, these trout things they put us through is like a Pokemon battle where no one's actually killed. They're all just like knocked unconscious. Like a Sparry. Hog will spare you no clemency, neither will I. <laughs> clemency? Ninhog is a paladin? Oh! We're we're gonna we're gonna uh, spar with Weisfelder. I like this fight.
That's a fun one. Even bereft than I, my brood brother was a fearsome foe indeed. But having tasted thy strength firsthand, I do begin to see how thou didst bring him by idol and chose his servants well. Very well, I shall trust in the seed of man one last. By thy deeds shall the flickering hope that lingereth yet within my heart be kindled anew or extinguished forever. Your trial is ended as well, then. Mine was brutal beyond reckoning. But Falnir seems ill-acquainted with the notion of mock battles. That thou yet stand as ready proof of your determination, mortals. Let us fight as allies then, and together banish my two brother's vengeful shade. On my oath, the wrath that once was the hog shall end meet its end. As I swear on the memory of my beloved Achiva and on the soul of Lost Yazel. Poor Rips, uh, Miss Fugger saw fit to pair me with Vidolfnir, but her ferocity was such that I began to wonder if it wasn't simply imagined. I hadn't simply imagined her injury. Yet my trials pales in significance next to yours. How fared you in your duel with the Kreiswell? I take from this that your battle was rather more involved than my own. Vidolfnir? Or Red Fulnir, who seemed largely concerned with how long he could keep me rolling in the dust uh, between dodging snapping fangs and slashing claws. I scarce had time to aim a blow. Had he truly meant to harm me, of course, I would not be standing here now. Plainly, his intent was to teach. His onslaught forced me to recall my training. About the speed of the dragon, his balance, his blind spots, he was, in short, a very, th very thorough. Ow, 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 Kupo. Mr. Ghost, let me begin by congratulating you on completion of your trial. For one, one with the name more befitting a jester, you fight with the savagery of a rabid demon. <laughs> Do you see how my wings are kinked? Even my palm aches. <laughs> From this drubbing, I fear my loyal subjects will have to bear the load of my personal chores for quite some time, Kupo. Possibly indefinitely. What? When I told you about Hesekus's trial, I didn't mean for the rest of us to suffer. <laughs> That's triple shifts for you, Malcolm. <laughs> triple! But that's not fair! There's no justice, Kupo. Not at all. Shrug. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Everything's made better with Our negotiations proved rather more strenuous than I had anticipated, but the results seem well worth the effort. The battle was indeed hard won. Thank you, my friends. I would never have earned Trace Velga's cooperation had you not seen fit to grant me yours. It was your stalwart heroism that moved the heart of the Great Worm at the last. Any gratitude I can offer is but poor reward for your continued service to Ishgard. It would seem our final reckoning with the Dread Worm is at hand. I only wish we had some inkling as to when he means to strike. Begun. We must away to Ishgard. Ishgard will not last long against Nidkod and the sword. We must away. This roar portended? I, I must return to my city without delay. And we shall lend you our rings. Let us meet with Nidhogg on the field of battle, and together bring an end to his wrathful soul. I like how the smallest one, me, <laughs> runs on a race well guard. Until the Lord Commander returns. Ugh. We must hold.
reinforcements! By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. Yeah, it's reinforcements. For your side. Warrior of Light. Wherefore standest thou with these vermin, brother? Abandon this war, shade. The suffering that thou so hast so served no end. The traitor's progeny have been learned have learned that their forefathers betrayal, and seek now to make amends with our kind. Never shall our grief be assuaged, nor our loss forgotten, but reconciliation may yet halt the spread of this plague of enmity. For sake of thy vengeance, and see at peace. What soft ramblings are these? Thy dalliance with that vile maid hath robbed thee of thy wits. Mayhap her coin perfume hath made thee forget the stench of your brood sister's lifeblood. <laughs> now darest speak thus of my beloved? Ah, so the flames of rage may yet be rekindled. I fear thy heart's fire had long since gone out. But waste not thy fury on words, brother. Thou hast need of it for the battle.
Thou art weak, Harry Svaga, a slithering worm who foughteth at the vermin who would rightly be his prey. For a thousand years have I fought without cease, and thou didst speak to prevail against me. Glory not in thy victory, the battle is not yet won. My power and my hope have I entrusted to another. And I, what hast thou done? Thou wouldst trust a mortal with thy strength? I know thee. Twas thou who didst intrude upon my lair and best the path of thee. But now I am whole and not in creation shall deny me my vengeance. sitting right here but I want to I want to show you something because I hate to say this but personally I didn't think that that was as epic as as I would want it especially for a, a little bee with a little creature So, I want to show you the same cutscene on my main when I first did this. So, so that you can see what this cutscene looked like when I first experienced this. Obviously, he's level 80 on uh, Monk. So, it's... You know, and spoiler, it's a spoiler. Uh, I'm going to quickly get through an inn here so that, so that we can uh, look at it. Don't know where the inn is in Rumor, uh, so I'm going to go to the Consurium. So partial spoilers because I'm uh, going to see, see a few things. But I'm quickly going through this so I can find this. But I really, really think that the, to get the, this full impact, just for some reason, I want to share the impact that this scene, this this feeling of epic, ep, epicness that uh, I had when I first saw saw this scene. So first off, uh, 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 the, 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 first off, I'm gonna uh, get. No, that's the right one. First off. This was the outfit I was in, which looks remarkably like the outfit that the the, the Essigos has. So we're going to have this word dragon song. Let's see if we can find it. What's that? End of the song. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I'm not sure which cutscene this is, so I might try a couple times. Actually, we'll just start, we'll start at the beginning.
Yeah, I think we could do, can skip a cutscene. So this is uh, when uh, we picked up. until the Lord Commander returns. Fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. Warrior of Light. Now, Lollafels have smaller steps, so I've been like doop 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 doop. But my rogue in here is like. So we'll probably do this, uh, uh, go quicker through the dialogue here just to get the, you know, uh, the action. What on end, buddy? Sit not. Oh, 
left side you can actually see the downside to, to being a really tiny to, to, to having a really tiny character is that some of these things move so far away you can't even see them in the, the cutscenes. By the way, I shipped Emmer Sir Emmerich and Lucia. more and we'll get back to this guys Back to Skos. <laughs> uh, we'll see what my queue time is. I might, no, I, I'm going to try to at least get through through this. I may end up... 
I'll probably heal. Hmm. We switch to astrologian to do it just to kind of cook the cue because we're getting close to the end of uh, the streaming session. Uh, but first, let's let's see what what a cue for uh, final steps. Uh, Fourteen minutes. Okay, and I, I, I switch over to astrology. Do my astrology is level seventy. I'm hoping that will uh, speed up the process because I don't know how long I would take it. Yeah, less than five minutes. So. I can't remember, is this a. It's a 62. I'm checking of, of which of my little things here I don't get. Oh, here we are. Draws at level 70, so I don't get that.
get it. Oh, it's actually it's really fun. So obviously there's a cutscene. Oh, everybody's already left. Can I switch class? No, I can't. Can't switch, can't switch jobs all in an instant. Because I wanted to be wearing the same outfit. But that's all right. I got a couple player combinations. Estinian! This is not your hand, worm! Ask one last favor of you, warrior of light. Finish me now while I have the beast subdued.
He lives. Ah, oh, Estinian, my ill-fated friend. Lucia, summon the healers. I want them ready to receive him. At once, Lord Commander. Allow me to do this much, at least. Since the fall of their master and scattered to the wind. You have my gratitude, Resvelga. Your deeds this day have saved a great many lives. Your alliance has served its purpose. Thou wouldst wield the power I grant thee well. Twas thine own skill and not mine eyes which gained victory. Thy companion is swift recovery. Fare you well, children of men. Uh, Hraesvelger, you forgot your eye. <laughs> the battle is won. We can do no more for Estinian now than bear him home and wish him well. Even as Hraesvelger did. The rest we must trust to the hands of the healers and the grace of the gods. The haze of pain, I sw swear I sensed. But no, the past is gone, and we must look to the future. At long last, Nidhogg is gone. His foul spirit cast out once and for all. I only pray that Estinian survives the ordeal. Your battle with Nidhogg's shade will beget much an epic ballad, Eskos, and rightly so. It was, without a doubt, one of the most epochal Epochal. I don't know how to pronounce that. Victories. Epical? No. Epochal. Epochal. Epoch? Oh. Victories. Though I must admit that I uh, took greater joy in seeing you emerge from the experience unscathed. And not only for your own sake. Had you not been there to me, to aid me, these infernal eyes would still be fused. Those infernal eyes would still be fused to Estinian's mail. Yet. Even with Nidhogg gone, I cannot help but wonder how much of our friend remains. Let us pay a visit to Lucia and beg news of his condition. And with that epical ending of uh, Battle with Nidhogg and me healing it instead of uh, uh, a monkey knit, um, I will bid. I actually, what I need to do is put this on my not bars. It's a it it it's one I can't use right now because every time I go into an in, or, or won't really use that often because every time I get, go into an instance because of the 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 power sink actually oh shit there's a couple things is that at sixty that was at sixty too that should go there I need to. This here, I'm, I'm putting these places where I actually have them on my main. Makes it so uh, that I use them actually. Don't need this over here. Then. 
Is there any other ancients that... No, because this goes here. Actually, we could probably just put this on. And this goes here. that there. I just don't use form shift. I'm going to take off things I just do not use. That's it for the streams for this week. Uh, for today, uh, I'll be back in two days. Uh, because of um, my schedule change, I'm off on the weekends now. So instead of Mon Wednesdays and Thursdays streaming, I'll be streaming on the Saturdays and Sundays for this regular stream. But I'm also going to be streaming Bears of Dragons still, but that will still be on Thursdays at 7.30ish. It's canceled tonight because now all of our players can make it. Sorry to say. Um, but uh, it'll allow me some respite and some thinking about story. So if you haven't got caught up, go to either check out the VODs on the, the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash windgem, or uh, go to the Cubs Out Loud YouTube channel and check out Bears, Bears of Dragon playlist and or the Seabell Gaming playlist, which has more of this stuff. So when I remember to transfer it over there, I know sometimes I get behind. But subscribe to the channel, uh, like, subscribe. If you want to become a patron, patron the support comes out loud. Uh, you're supporting not just the, the shows we do, uh, the, the actual comes out loud main show and the Seawall Drag Race shows, but you're also supporting me doing this because more stuff. I kind of want to get like a green screen. So maybe I could even set this so that instead of seeing me in a box here, you, I could just have it green screened over so it's like transparent. Although I do like to cover the chat. Uh, the the in-game chat, so maybe, I don't know what I'll do. But maybe I'll just put like some sort of a splitter. But I would like to get a green screen. I haven't looked too much into that, but we'll see about that. But that's some of the goals the, of uh, how to improve our content. Um, yeah, don't forget Zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud, Patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or PayPal.me slash Cubs Out Loud if you just want to send us some cash. That's it. We'll see you Saturday.